Other important tools you can find next to the brush are the blending modes. The different blending options are displayed on the left of opacity. They actually define how the color of the brush you've chosen will interact with the rest of the colors in the picture. There are many different blending modes, and each of them has a different function. In more general terms, they are combined according to their function, and mostly, according to the way they interact with the rest of the colors. For example, let's choose Soft Light, and then pick another color for the brush. As you can see, you're no longer drawing with a simple color, replacing the previous one, but the colors merge. This option allows for very interesting outcomes. Let's go back to the initial look of the photograph. You can do this by choosing the upper position in History, or by clicking Revert in the File menu. In order to see how this works, we'll change the colors of this section of the image. Before this, make a quick selection of the section you're going to use. To soften the selection, click Select, Modify, and Feather. Then pick a radius of about 1 or 2 pixels, which will soften the selection and prevent any rough boundaries from showing the image's colors have been modified. After this, select a normal brush with the color of your liking, from Color, and when ready, deselect it.